Hey everyone, it's me Alex and I'm running late for a wedding. So today's video is a guest style haul. This is a cottage core haul. You guys watched my uh, House of CB haul and told me that you loved the cottage core aesthetic on me. So, like any sane person, I dropped $500 on more cottage core clothing from Yes Style. That being said, I didn't actually buy these things myself. Yes Style gives me a budget of $500 US dollars every month to spend on their site in exchange for me making a video. Because I'm running late for this wedding, uh, I'm just going to open up this box and I'm going to find something. Anything, really. I ordered these a little while ago, maybe about a month ago, so I don't entirely remember what's in this box. The weather here in Australia is cooling down right now and I'm a little bit concerned I'm going to be cold, but I do remember that I picked a couple of things with sleeves, so I'll try to find one of those. I'm not gonna have time to try everything on before I leave for the wedding. So I'm basically just gonna be picking based on holding it up and what looks cute. And then after the wedding, I will come back, well not tonight because I'll probably be at the wedding until midnight, but tomorrow, I'll come back and I'll try these things on properly. Force for a dart, bitch. Are you ready, Artie? All right, speed run, guys. I've never done a format like this before. Normally I take my time. Ah, oh, cute. Oh, okay, no, that's gonna be too cold. Oh, this is heavy and thick. Uh, also, not long sleeves. These are just like puffy shoulder sleeves. Oh, that's not gonna be warm enough either. Oh, this one, nope, there is no sleeves whatsoever. And that's very, very thin. That's not gonna work either. Why do I get the feeling that cottage core doesn't entirely tie in with it's almost winter? Maybe something about the flowers would imply that it's uh, suitable for springtime. Who'd have thought? Oh, this. Oh, I like that, but also short sleeves again. Come on, I know I've got some long sleeves in here somewhere. Oh, oh. Yes! Oh, this is this is very Bridgerton from the looks of it. I wonder, can I wear buttercup yellow to a wedding? I don't see why not. Okay, yep, this one looks promising. All right, hats. I'm not gonna be wearing hats to the wedding, so we'll have a look at those later. Okay, there's a lot more in this box. I think I'm gonna have to go put you away and I'm gonna just have to frantically attack this. I'm very sorry, I'll be back in a sec. When I say I'm running late, I mean, I need to be leaving in 15 minutes and I'm not changed yet. Haven't tried on the clothes, haven't done my makeup, haven't brushed my hair. Ooh, okay, no, can't wear white to a wedding, but that's glorious. <gasps> I love that. Okay, oh, this is so cute. <gasps> but short sleeves, too cold. What is this? Oh, okay, hmm. No, I can't wear this. I'd forgotten I ordered this. This is probably not so much cottage core, but I had to throw it in because when I was ordering the items, I saw it and I thought it looked incredible. I don't think it's really cottage core. It seems maybe a bit more like dark academia, but it's like a frilly blouse and you're supposed to pair it with this big, beautiful plaid skirt like that. Ah. But no, not right for the wedding. Only one more thing. What's this? <gasps> oh! So cute. No, okay, I think I really only have one option. I'm gonna try on this yellow dress and hope that it's okay. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Is this okay? Oh, I'm asking as though you're going to be able to tell me and I'll hear your feedback and I'll change my mind. No, uh, in me asking you, is this okay? Uh, I'm more so asking for forgiveness rather than permission because I'm going to be wearing this. I think I'll pair it with probably these high heels. Um, if you watched my video where I went thrifting for clothes to wear on holidays, I got these really cheap at a thrift store. Nude heels go with everything. And if I take my hair out, and if I do my makeup, and I think I'm ready to go. The only thing that I need to do is just find a bag to match this. I did pick up a bag in the hall, but I don't know if this is a wedding appropriate bag or not. I'll show you. You know what, actually maybe it is. Maybe it just might be. Look, it's, it's essentially a little woven basket bag. Oh, there's a flower in here for my hair. So it's this little woven basket bag. It's a little bit misshaped, but is that, a, hmm, is that too informal to wear to a wedding? You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Because of the spirit of the cottage core video, I think I'm, I'm just gonna, this is my look. This is my look for today, and if you don't like it, you can go away. So, gotta find my face mask, put on some perfume, and leave. I will catch you in the car. Do you like my dress, Dan? 
Yes, I love it. Do you think it's wedding appropriate? Well, it's not white, so like you're not gonna upset anyone. No, and also it matches my favorite face mask. This is from my House of CB Cottage Core Hall. Just so happens that the yellow is almost exactly the same shade. This feels really, really nice. My only slight concern, because I ran out of the house in such a hurry, I didn't get to see myself from behind in the mirror and I don't know if you can see my undies through the dress. That's my one and only concern because aside from that, it's beautiful. It's got like a double layer. It's got a, a slip underneath and this fabric is like a crepey kind of fabric, but it's also nice and thick. I'm really happy. Actually, I kind of like this format too, where like I do a haul and I rip open the box and I just grab something and I wear it out. So you guys can actually see me wearing the clothes out and about instead of just at home in my room trying them on. tired. It's midnight. Actually relatively early considering some weddings I've been to that finish at 2am. We, we made it home in reasonable time. I think the dress held up well. I was looking back on some pictures of myself from the day. I'll admit this now, not actually liking it as much as I thought I did. So obviously I got changed with very little time and I didn't really examine myself in the mirror, which is often what stops me from getting places on time because I'll put on a piece of clothing, then I'll look at myself in the mirror and think, oh, actually I don't really like it and then I'll get changed and that'll happen five or ten times and then I'm late. Whereas today, I only had half an hour to get ready, grabbed this dress, put it on, glanced at myself in the mirror and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's cute and then I left and obviously I went out wearing it but then I looked at pictures of myself at the wedding and I was like, oh, I don't really like how it fits me. I don't really love the style that much. Yes, it's cute, but it's... There's something not quite right about it and I feel like it's something to do with this belt line and the waist height. That was the only thing to me when I looked at pictures. I was like, this just looks a little bit awkward just here. But I haven't actually pulled up the images of the model on YesStyle to see how it looked in the expectation photos. Like I said, it's midnight now. My husband has crawled into bed and is probably asleep already the moment his head hit the pillow. So I'm not gonna go through and start trying on these clothes and properly reviewing them until tomorrow. I feel like little Bo Peep and it's so cute. Just wanted to tell you my experience of looking at it, thinking it was great, wearing it, looking back, thinking, oh, it's not quite as good as I thought it was, but it's still cute. Doesn't detract from how well it's made or anything like that, but it has left me feeling quite excited for some of these other things that I'll be trying on in the morning. Actually, you know what? I might just try this one on now because I can't help myself. I just, I just really want to. You know, seeing as I'm still wearing this one, I may as well give it its proper review. Uh, this has a zip running all the way up the side. The bow is set in place. It is not detachable. You can't undo it. It's sort of threaded in place. It's meant to sit exactly there. It does have pearl beading that runs along here. Really nice, cute little details. And also it's kind of like this ruffly, crinkled kind of fabric. I will definitely give this dress that. It is so comfortable to wear. I'm also not wearing a bra and there was no problem with that because there is a built-in bra in here with room for me and also because there's so much thick fabric at the top I didn't have to worry about covering things that may have stood out in the cold but anyway I just really want to try on this blue dress <laughs> I wish I'd worn this. This is made so well. It feels very, very expensive. I don't know how much it was. I'll put the price up here. Whatever it says, if that says anything less than $100, it's a steal. If you know the brand Alana Hill, this is made the same sort of way that a garment from Alana Hill feels like it's made. It feels like it's executed very well. Really good quality piece of clothing. Also, it I think it looks really, really nice. The fit around the waist where it sits on my waist height and also the way that the, the sleeves kind of sit and 
if you look closely at these love hearts, and this is really very, very specific details I'm getting into, but if you actually look at the heart itself, look at the rainbow love hearts. Look at the cute little trim details here. Look at the beautiful puffy sleeves. It's so flattering, it's so form-fitting, it's so cute. This top layer is the lacy layer that has the love hearts. Then it's got another really thick mesh layer. Then it's got a slip underneath that. Three layers, a fair bit of volume, really nice height on the waist. This has to be like without a doubt, one of the nicest things I've ever got, ever got from Yes Style. And Yes Style has been giving me free clothes for like three years. And this is probably the nicest piece of clothing that I've ever picked. But that being said, it's also a 12.30 a.m. and I'm about a bottle of red wine and half a bottle of white wine deep. So maybe I'll just uh, pause my judgment there and wait until the morning. And then I'll report back tomorrow and try on the rest of the clothes. And also I'll put this one back on when I'm more sober and I'll tell you whether I still feel the same. But you know, like every inch of my being is telling me that yes, I will feel the same. Perhaps I will even like it more when I wake up in the morning. Ah, oh, just, I have the energy now. I want to try the thing. Ah. Oh. See, the predicament that I'm in right now is, it's late at night. I don't know the prices of any of these things because I don't have the information in front of me right now. Normally when I film a video, I like to tell you how much the clothing costs so I can make a judgment on whether it's worth it or not. And part of me is saying, Alex, just, Call it quits now, then go to bed and film this tomorrow. The other part of me is saying, but I'm buzzed. I just had a really fun night at a really beautiful wedding. And there's clothing that I can try on and I'm not tired. <sighs> Guys, I snapped. I low key snapped. And no, I don't mean my clever transition just then. I mean like when I picked these clothes on Yes Style. Are you seeing this? Look at this skirt with pockets and look at this frilly blouse this came as a two-piece set i'm dead i'm dead is it the wine talking is it alex talking i feel like i should be pouring a stein of mead in white run if you don't like this outfit you have committed crimes against skyrim and her people what have you to say in your defense looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. This is probably not a cottage core outfit. I'm sorry, I, I know, I added it in. It's probably more Dark Academia or Helena Bonham Carter on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean, but like, I'm not mad. And if you're mad, take it up with the Night Mother. See you, set off. And then I said, that's not a hawker, that's my wife. I'm sorry, it's like, it's literally Skyrim cosplay. <laughs> Focus, that's enough Skyrim quotes. I should probably review the clothing. This skirt feels expensive. I feel rich. I got this for free, but I feel rich. This is heavy. This skirt is voluminous and heavy and so soft. The inside of it is like this sort of double layer. It's got this dark brown layer here, which is a very, very soft fabric. It's really heavy. I got this in a medium and it's got a fair bit of room in the waist. I feel like if I'd gone for the small, it probably would have cinched me in like a tavern wench. I would have liked that, but it's okay because you can always take something in, but you can't really add the fabric to make it wider for your waist. Probably sizing up on YesStyle is always a good idea if it's something that you could cinch in if you wanted to. It's a little tiny bit loose on my waist, but I think that's all right. It doesn't matter too much. The blouse is so delicate and dainty and beautiful. And we've got these little buttons here. The buttons, don't feel super cheap. Sometimes when you purchase things on YesStyle or websites that give shiny buttons, the shiny buttons are a very light plastic and they feel really cheap and they break. These aren't metal buttons, but they're not cheap plastic. They're good plastic, unlike my nose. The fact that this skirt has pockets and is made so well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that if this, if this two piece set was less than $80, it's worth it. If this two piece set was $120, it's worth it. Because I don't know the price, I don't really know how to tell you whether it's worth it or not. But if I went into a store and I picked this skirt up off a rack, I would so comfortably pay a hundred bucks for the skirt on its own because it is that nice. Like, look, look. 
Fuss for a dart, bitch. And just like that, I've transitioned from Lydia to Daphne. This dress is very Bridgerton. It's so cute. This is quite literally one of the prettiest dresses that I own. The details are so cute. Basically, it has a layer of white mesh fabric or lace on the top, which has a floral embroidery print on it. And underneath that, the pastel blue fabric underneath has little tiny blue flowers, like periwinkle blue, dainty little flowers. This cinches in at the waist again, which I think is essential for the cottage core look. The length, once again, perfect, stunning. I don't know what sort of shoes I should be wearing because as far as cottage core, all I really understand is flowers equals cottage core. When I was looking at the pictures of myself wearing the yellow dress at the wedding and the nude high heels, at the time I thought they were great. But looking at the pictures, I thought that the style of the heels actually didn't match the dress. And I feel like the same thing would go with this dress. For example, this is my go-to pair of heels. These are by um, Tony Bianco, an Australian shoe company. They're just plain pointy toe nude heels. And whenever I don't know which shoes to wear with a piece of clothing, I'm like, nude heels. Doesn't get much easier than that. But I don't think it's the right vibe. What sort of shoes are you supposed to wear for cottage core? Like whenever I see girls on Instagram dressed like cottage core, they're standing there and they're reading a book, sub out book for pillow. But the photo is always taken like this, like at this sort of height. And you can see their waist, and you can see the nice big puffy sleeves and the floral design on the dress. But you can't see their shoes. You can never see their shoes. So I don't know what sort of shoes I'm supposed to be wearing. But regardless, it's beautiful. Feels not cheap, but not as luxurious as the first two you just saw. Like that blue dress and the skirt set, they felt luxe. This feels just like a normal dress off yes style. It's like nothing to write home about as far as the quality goes, but I think that the design and the style is so cute. The lace layer is very, very long beautiful soft lace. Sometimes when you get clothing that has lace, the lace can be itchy and scratchy, but this is very, very soft lace. And this layer here, this is a kind of staticky material. It's actually making staticky sounds, but it's soft too. Just a little bit thin. That's the only thing. Something that I particularly love about dresses in this style, the sleeves. Yes, I believe they're supposed to be kind of worn up like this, but you can always just kind of pull them down to give that like off the shoulder look, which is so innocent and so tight. And that's the red wine talking. <laughs> if I pull this footage up on my computer and start editing it and realize that, no, Alex, you're too drunk to be on camera, I will reshoot this. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. But what I do know is I have another dress to try on. Oops, I didn't say how much I thought this was worth. Um, $50. Help, I'm confused. There are danglies hanging off this dress and I don't know what to do with them. Uh, I'm assuming because there's one at the front and one here, you're supposed to tie them up on your shoulders? Oh, if only my husband hadn't passed out on the bed, he could come help me tie this up. He could come help tie me up. <laughs> oh my God, this, this. I feel like little Bo Peep and it's so cute. Wait, hat. Someone find me a picnic basket. Stat. I need a punnet of strawberries, a bottle of champagne, a picnic basket, and a park. And I'm an Instagram model. This dress is glorious, and I'm really proud of myself right now, because sometimes when I choose my Yes Style haul, I pick things because I'm like, that looks like it could work. That's cute. Reviews aren't good. That one's risky, might not suit me. But something obviously came over me. Some divine entity possessed me while I was choosing these items and I picked nothing but perfection. This dress is actually incredible. It's so flowy. It's really heavy. It's a very, very heavy dress because there's a lot of fabric. There's this uh, white layer here, which has polka dots. And then it's got a little slip layer underneath tiny little bit sheer but the fabric itself feels so nice that it's it doesn't feel like a cheap dress that you can just see straight through this is the sort of dress that I would not mind paying 200 bucks for and I say that from a loving place because uh, we have a website here called the iconic which is like luxury items and I've seen dresses like this from brands like Atmos and here Nicola Finetti 
Misha collection. They make really pretty white dresses like this and they're anywhere from $300 to $500. And if you just sent me into a store and there was a rack and I was picking dresses up off the rack and you said to me, which one of these is from Yes Style and which one is from the expensive designer Australian brand, I would not be able to tell you which one was the cheaper one because it this feels lovely. This is probably one of my favorite things from Yes Style and I'm obsessed and if this is priced at like, I'm gonna say it's probably $70 just because I know the Yes Style pricing in my head. I've, I've been, sh you know, getting stuff from YesStyle for a while. I feel like it's probably a $70 dress, but if I was in a shop, I would pay anywhere up to $200 for this based on how nice it feels, how I feel while I'm wearing it, the style, how it looks. Oh, it's so nice. Welcome back. It's unfortunate that everything has to come crashing down with this next item because I was feeling so good about the last one, but I put this one on and nothing against the item personally, but I think I got the wrong size. This is a medium. It feels too big. It definitely feels like there's, you know, excess fabric here. Like this should be tucked in on me and it feels like it, there's too much fabric. So I got the sizing wrong. Also haven't looked at the pictures of how it's supposed to be worn. Not sure if it's meant to be worn up like this. No, I feel like it's not meant to be worn like that because that, that looks awkward. Surely it's supposed to be sort of like off the shop. Surely. I have no idea. But also I've just noticed that there's a drawstring here. So if I pull this, well, hang on. If I pull that, it reveals the white slip underneath. This one is confusing me. As far as how it's made, the fabric's really soft. Feels like it's made well. Looks like something you would get from a store for about $35, $40 maybe. Maybe. No, no, no. I said 50 about that dress and that was, hmm. No, I, I'm gonna stick to like, if this is more than about $30, probably not worth it. See, I feel as though if I kind of um pull the leg slit up a little bit, put my leg forward, tuck in the waist and then pose like an Instagram model. I don't have a book, but I have flowers. Does that, does, <laughs> does that help? I feel like if I pose right with the right props, it looks okay. So this dress isn't a complete write-off, but it is not my standout of the night. Interestingly though, the pattern does kind of remind me of the one that I got from House of CB. It's that sort of buttercup yellow with like orangey flowers, kind of similar. Don't know if it's a ripoff of the print, I'm not sure. But regardless, if this is priced reasonably, if this is like $20, $30, might actually pass as a pretty good option for a cottage core dress. Not quite the style that I'm obsessed with, but it is still very pretty. All right, so this next one doubles as my least favorite and my favorite. And I know that sounds a bit weird, but let me explain why. Least favorite because it feels kind of cheap. The fabric is a weird kind of uh, non-stretchy, plasticky feeling fabric. Does not feel luxurious in the slightest. It is the only thing so far that has not felt nice. If you picked this up, if you're in a store and you picked this up, you would probably expect to pay like five dollars for it just based on how it feels but i do really like the style hence why it's one of my favorites also weirdly enough look it gives me fake boobs look i actually have nothing here this is just nothing but puff a little bit of ruffled fabric is uh, cheaper than a boob job it's a very cute style it's got a lot of elastic around the waist here which means that the size is a little bit more inclusive than some of these types of dresses where there's a zipper and there is no give in the waistline there is a lot of stretch just in here so that's pretty nice and it makes it a lot more comfortable too especially if you're going out for dinner going out for lunch eating a lot you can sit at a table and relax comfortably wearing a dress like this it's got purple and pink flowers which is very cute and the uh, arms up here, the sleeveys, not that you can call these really sleeveys, the, the, the straps, the ties. You can tie them up yourself. I did this bow. You can adjust it. If you need more room or less room up here, adjustable. If this dress is like 10 to $20 worth every cent, if it's anything more than that, don't buy it. Because if you paid 30 or $40 for this and you received it, you'd be like, oh, this doesn't feel nice. This feels really cheap. So just bear that in mind. But if you really like the style of it, if you think it's a very cute style, you may actually like it. It definitely reminds me a lot of my House of CB dresses, specifically this one. This one from House of CB has the same... Oh my, hang on. Oh. Yes, style. 
if this print from House of CB is the original, which I'm, I'm not sure it is, but I'm just assuming it is. The design of these flowers has been taken from House of CB and has been replicated, <laughs> but slightly enlarged. Can you see that? How the, the ones from the House of CB design are just like ever so slightly smaller, but these ones from the Estelle one, it's actually the same flower. See, look, purple flower and pink flower, and they're the same flowers. This one from House of CB also ties up with the straps, just like this one does. I have a feeling this is a replica. I think Yes Style has replicated the House of CB designs. Now, that's a whole nother kettle of fish that I don't entirely want to get into in this video because people have very strong opinions about replicas, knockoffs, dupes, things like that. Purely from an economic standpoint, this was 200 or $300 from memory and I paid for this myself. And this is luxe. This is very heavy, very thick, so well made, so expensive. If you can get a similar look for like 10, $20, very tempting to do so. But then obviously the original designer that came up with the garment design is not gonna get the money that they deserve for their artwork. Completely on you, how you wanna deal with that one. Where possible, I try to buy the originals, but I don't want to ever say anything like, well, if you can't afford it, if you can't afford the original, you can't wear that design. Because I think that's really elitist and I don't think that it's right to tell people that. If you love the House of CB clothing, like if you saw my House of CB cottage core haul and you loved it, but you couldn't afford the items, but you really wanted that look, you can get it on Yes Style. If you have the money, please support House of CB because I, I'm assuming that they're the original designer of this print. I am just assuming that though, like I, I don't actually have anything to back whether or not there's some generic pink and purple flower print that you can purchase from a manufacturer that makes rolls of fabric and then the companies just do what they want with it. I'm not sure. If you have any information, feel free to share it in the comments down below and have a discussion, but please remain civil. Please don't call anyone names. Please don't tell anyone that you're right and they're wrong. Feel free to share your point of view and educate people as to why you feel a certain way, but please never attack anyone in my comment section. I don't like to see that. Anyway, and you can't afford to support a brand like House of CB, for example. I think you'd be quite happy with this, but it does feel like the cheapest garment that I've showed you guys so far. All right, I think I've officially found my new favorite. This is delightful. This is so pretty. Oh, I love it. The fabric has a pink rose with green leaves, but there's also gold embroidery. The stitching is actually kind of like a metallic-y gold. And it's shiny, it catches the light, it's very delicate, the way that it's stitched. Feels like it's made very nicely. I personally really like this colour, this is like a beigey kind of colour, which I think suits me a lot more than white. The only downside for me is that it's quite tight all the way around my chest and my rib cage and my waist. Whereas a lot of these other designs that I showed you, they're a little bit loose around the chest and then it cinches at the waist, but then it continues to feel loose. This one is like tight. It's tight from here, all the way up here, all the way up here. Space girl, I saw a lunar eclipse. Oh, sorry, I don't know, TikTok things, Never mind. It's got the big slit in the leg here. The length of it is very nice too. Comes almost all the way down to my ankles, but not quite. And my favorite thing about it is the square neckline. I love, love square necklines. You know, back in the day, people used to call losers squares. I'm happy to be square. If being a square means I look this good, then call me a geometry expert and put me on a picnic. I'm sorry, it's 10 past one in the morning. I have no jokes left in me. I'd happily pay $50 for this dress, but no more than $50. If it's more than 50, I wouldn't purely because wearing it, it doesn't feel as nice as the others. Feels ever so slightly cheaper. The fabric isn't quite as nice. I set the bar high with some of the things I showed you guys earlier. So if I'd started with this, I would have been like, this is amazing, buy it, $100. But now that I've tried those things and I've given those ratings and how I would probably price those, this one just doesn't quite compare. So 50 bucks fine. A hundred bucks? No. And with that, the last item of the video is one that I did not realize I did this. I'm very sorry. I had quite literally no idea. When I placed the order on Yes Style and I placed the Cottagecore order on the House of CB, it didn't quite occur to me that I was buying the exact same thing. This is meant to be this. I think in these pictures, 
When you see that model wearing the dress, this is from the Yes Style website. I think the dress that that model is wearing is this dress. Like I'm 98% certain. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide myself across and show you some footage of myself wearing this dress from House of CB video, so you can just kind of see. It's the same print. This is more of a pastel kind of yellow. This is buttercup yellow. This is like a very, very pale yellow. They both tie up at the front here with like a little bit of elastic in the bust area. This one obviously has more of like a cup shape in the bust. This one doesn't offer any support or any cup shape. This one also has this kind of like mesh in the sleeves to help give this puff here more volume. Uh, this was also like $300 from House of CB. I don't know how much this one was, the one that I'm wearing right now. It feels really cheap. I would only say it's worth 20 bucks, like at most. Uh, if I went into a store and I picked this dress up off the rack and I went to buy it for myself, if it was a dollar over $20, I'd be like, and also, as someone that's worn that dress, the original one from House of CB, I've worn that many times out, and I love it, and I love the way it feels on me, I love how heavy it is, how solid the fabric is, how well it's made, how good I feel while I'm wearing it. It's got boning in here, that's something that I really emphasized in my House of CB video, was that all of the dresses actually had boning kind of running all the way through the waist, which keeps it very structured. This doesn't have any structure, this is just one single very thin piece of fabric, whereas that one has like three layers of fabric in it. This is just one very thin piece of fabric. So if you're into dupes and knockoffs and all that sort of thing, and you're trying to achieve a similar look for less, I suppose you'd be happy with it. But in this circumstance, I would encourage you to save up a little bit and get the House of CB one because it's so good. I can't rave about House of CB highly enough. Not everything on Yes Style is a knockoff. There's plenty of brands on Yes Style that are genuine, authentic brands that have their own designers and Yes Style stocks their items. But then there's also plenty of items on Yes Style that are knockoffs. Everything that I showed at the start of the video, I'm pretty sure most of those were from actual Korean brands or like the original design. Some of these ones that obviously this is this is literally just a direct ripoff of the House of CB one. Probably won't rate those, but all the others that I showed you earlier, they were so good. This is probably my favorite Yes Style video of all time. And once again, I don't know if that's me speaking or the wine, or the time, or the past one. So in that case, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. Please tell me down below what your favorite item was. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm sorry, this was, this didn't go the way it was meant to. My intention was that I would put on a dress, wear it to the wedding, tomorrow I would be very professional and sit down and get the prices for you and get the photos lined up and actually look at the photos and tell you what my expectation reality ideas were. But I just had this burst of motivation and motivation doesn't often come my way. So I felt like I had to sink my teeth into it. I had to sink my teeth into the motivation and just film this at 1am. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite items were. Please subscribe if you haven't already and keep an eye out for some of my other Yes Style videos that are coming up soon because I've been picking different themes and uh, I'm really excited to share with you the Dark Academia Yes Style video because the stuff that I got Dark Academia from Yes Style, it was so good. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!